from With Ace Appliance in Toledo, Ohio, and welcome back to another in-home diagnostic video brought to you by appliancevideo.com. Okay, we're looking at a Whirlpool range. Uh, the complaint is that the front right burner will not ignite. So we're going to push in the... We can hear gas coming out, but there's no clicking whatsoever. So we're gonna just check the, the back burner as well. And that does click and starts our flame. So from that, we, we know that our uh, spark it module is good and that the gas valve is good. So our next step is going to be removing the grates and all of the burner heads uh, to take our, our stove apart and gain access to the parts we needed to check and what will inevitably fix uh, the control panel used a Phillips screw. The rest of the burner caps used a square bit and it's a lot easier. You can get away with a Phillips but the square bit will be much easier. Uh, we also use the meter to check for continuity through the electrode and wire. Okay so the first thing we're going to do is remove all the the burner caps and we're going to remove all of the screws that hold these down so we can lift up the the top if you don't take them off you'll bend every gas line going to it and it will not be good so we'll remove all this lift up the top check our electrode and switches And these are square bits. And yes, they all have to come off. Now with all of our burners disconnected, we can insert a knife to depress the clips. Take off all of these knobs and take down this control panel. Now we have access to our switches. We can safely remove the top and check all of our electrodes and find out what's going on. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is remove our, our wire and just ohm out the electrode. Uh, if we have a good electrode, we should hear a beep from our meter. So that would indicate that our electrode is good. Uh, another quick way to, to check stuff is to just swap the wires on the burners. And that will indicate, should show us if there's any other issues. Uh, you will have to put the, the burner caps back on. 
so we'll go ahead and do that and now we'll try the back burner there so with that one sparking up and lighting we we know that the spark module is good all the wiring is good and when we go to test this one it's still not sparking so there's really only one thing left and that's the the switch here so we'll have to replace that switch and we'll be all set so we have determined that the uh, right front burner switch is bad and they come as an entire assembly so we'll order up the assembly and replace all the switches and uh, one connector in the back Okay, for now we're going to put our stove back together and order our parts. We'll start by putting the cover back on. Two hinges on the, on the back that you need to get the, the back on. on properly when all everything lines up uh, and then we'll reattach the front cover and put all the burners back on we will attach the mounting screws on the corners and these particular ones have washers on them so you don't switch them now we can put our cover back on put two screws back in there Now we'll just put all the knobs back on. And now we'll reattach all of the burner ports. They won't necessarily line up right to begin with, but they are flexible. And we'll put our burner caps back on. one way they will not go on any other way this one doesn't line up so great so we'll just adjust that a little bit get the electrode through they don't line up so great you can put your finger down the middle of them to kind of help out so we're going to loosen this one a little bit just to give us a little more play try and center it there we go Cap back on. And now the grates. 
There are notches in the top of the stove to line up the grates properly. We're all back together. I always go ahead and check for, for proper operation of the other burners. And we'll be back to replace those switches. Thank you for watching another in-home diagnostic video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.